guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is dedicated to flea markets in Singapore such as the local people and uh, public garden. I'm a huge fan of flea markets. So what I would like to put out a disclaimer that this is not a paid advertisement for the flea markets. I'm doing this out of my own will because I'm a huge fan of flea markets and I just thought that maybe I should share with you my experiences and flea markets and show you some of the things that I've gotten from there and hopefully you will want to try out a new shopping experience and go to flea markets to shop. A few weeks back, I went to this event called Your Happier Hour which is organized by Public Garden and if you watched my previous video, I was talking a little bit about it. It's where I got the temporary tattoos from and other than that, I got other, a few other things. First of all, I got this necklace that I'm wearing now. It's a three-piece necklace and it only cost $15. I thought it was a really good steal. Like, you know, one piece necklace could cost up to $15 really, but this had three. So the first piece is just a simple circular pendant and the second one has pearls on it and the last one is just a long vertical pendant. Now moving on to another flea market that I've just been to recently, a few days ago. It's organized by the local people. It's called the Art Flea Market. I've gotten quite a few things from there, if you can see. So the first thing I've gotten from there is from Handmade Heroes. And from there I've gotten a lip scrub. It's a coconut sorbet, as you can tell. Obviously, if you are a fan, if you love coconut, this would be good for you. It smells and tastes like coconut. After I rub it on my lips, I can feel it's more softer and smoother. The best part is you can lick it off right after you and put it onto your lips and it tastes so good. So the next thing that I've gotten is this jawstring, this mini jawstring bag. And I think it's really cute. I can put my makeup items essentials inside and just go out yeah and it says be beautiful inside and outside so I really like this coat and this bag yeah. and the next thing is not it's not a product that I bought but it's an experience they they had a photo booth there and of course I the selfie queen would love to take pictures and so I went into the photo booth with my friend and we took pictures and the picture quality was super good and you just had to pay like five dollars to get four shots and this is the picture of me and my friend and I think it's so cute they had so many props outside the photo booth for you to choose and they are all free so you can just pick any of them and bring it to the photo booth and put it on and snap and it also comes with this envelope to put your picture inside and I think it's so cute and I really love the concept of the photo booth it's so... it's just so cute if you go to the art flea markets, you have to take a photo the last thing that I've gotten from there is some macarons which I have already eaten so unfortunately I can't show you now but I took a picture of them before I ate them and the reason I bought them is, is because it's so cute. And you don't see that every day, so of course I have to get it, even though it was three fifty for one macaron. But who cares? So those are the things that I've gotten from the past recent trips to the flea market. And I have some bonus stuff to show you guys, which I thought was worth showing you guys because they are really good and unique items that I really like and although they are really overdue haul here are some items that I bought from a really long time ago the first item that I want to show you guys is this headband turban thing I have actually never wore this out because I think it doesn't look very flattering on my head but I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna try on to let you guys see how it looks like. So there are like tribal patterns and the ribbon at the front. 
front. It gives you the very bohemian look which I'm going for. And this is the only clothing item that I've gotten from Flea Market. It's this vintage piece of top slash dress because I'm petite and it's a dress for me. It's really tropical prints. It's birds and leaves, orangey and green, very tropical. I love it, the prints. I thought this was really cute and unique and I think it's like one of a kind so if you like it, I'm sorry I've gotten this, you can't get it anywhere else. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this laptop casing that I've gotten. It has the vintage feel which I love vintage stuff so of course I had to get it and the color just gives that very vintage feel. And the best part of it is you can customize it so I've put my name on this, Cheryl K. And actually I had, let me see if I can find it. I had this method thing which is supposed to be here but it dropped off. I'm really sad, but it's a ballerina, if you can see. I'm thinking whether I should place place it back here or try and make it into a necklace. And yeah, I just bring this to school every day to put my laptop. And it was really affordable, I can't remember the price, but yeah. If you ever feel like going for flea markets, I have some advices for you. So the first advice that I would give to you is do not carry too many things if you're going to a flea market. I was stupid enough to carry a clutch bag to a flea market and obviously one of my hands is already filled with my clutch bag and how am I supposed to go and browse through all the stuff that's on the table. Yeah, I can't do that so it was really a burden. Yeah, so just try to carry as little things as possible. The second piece of advice is to draw out cash because they don't accept nets or any other credit cards. So the only way you can pay is by cash and if you don't have cash you can't buy the things so remember to draw cash. So that's all I want to show you guys. So I hope you have a gist of what you can get from this flea market and hopefully maybe you want to try going to the flea market the next time you go shopping because it's a really different experience and vendors are so friendly and kind. Things that you get there normally you can't get it from elsewhere so it's all unique and one of a kind and lots of vintage stuff so if you are a vintage lover you should go to flea market yeah that's all i have to say about flea markets and so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me and follow me on all my social media which will be linked down below and i hope to see you soon